Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to add two numbers using Flutter project. Now here I am going to add two numbers. So here first I am going to add two numbers. So I am going to add here. So number, I am going to type 60. 60. Total will be display over here. Click add button. Here. 120 will be displayed as output. So how to do this uh, simple app or so using how to calculate two numbers. Okay. So how to do the things with right. First one. So I'm going to create the new folder. Add two numbers. Yeah, I'm going to create the project. So you have type CMD. Uh, we have to uh, create the Flutter project. Okay, so how to create the Flutter project? So type uh, create Flutter the project name add numbers. Sorry, Flutter create add numbers. Whatever name you can give, add numbers. Press enter key. You have to wait until the project has been created here the project has been created successfully with the name add numbers right here it's created you can see the folder here okay now what i'm going to do is here cd i'm going to access the inside this folder so you have to write cd add numbers space add numbers so type like this press enter key now you are inside this folder stuck here we have to get back to our vs code data so code space dot this so all the folder will be get, uh, getting back to a VS Code editor. Okay, this is a folder section. Right, this is simple. Okay, so first what I'm going to do here is I'm going to configure it into our uh, emulator. Okay, so it can be here as a emulator. Okay, so here no device will show. Click on this one. This is this is an emulator I am running. Okay, so I just click on this one. Right. So here already this. Right. So here we have to go to the terminal. We open the terminal. It will be configured as your app will be configured here. The two devices connected. So here I'm going to type Flutter. Run. So press indicate Flutter run. You have to wait until the configuration completed here. Flutter run. As you seen here, now the default uh, Flutter page is open successfully. Now let I modify the page. Okay. So let's go to the inside the lib folder. Inside the lib folder, there will be the uh, file called main.dar. Okay. So here, first the default one, this is a class. We have to select this from the class. You have to, this class is sent here. Press delete key on your keyboard. This is a default uh, design. Okay, so let me comment all the stuff you have get rid of this one. So here, let's what I'm going to do. This is a home page. So here, this one, I already done three or two exercises. Now you have any idea about how to do the Flutter basics, right? So first, I'm going to go to select the uh, create a new page. So uh, add numbers. Dot dot press enter key. Right. So here you have to type st state last widget. State uh, you have to write state last widget. Widget. I am going to create as a uh, state. We have to create what is it? Stateful. We let me create a state. Stateful. Stateful mean we are able to manage the state. Okay. So stateful widget we have to create. We have to use the name as hat numbers at you can give any numbers, right? So you have to delete this one. So here, just click on this one. You have to change it as a material dot, right? Perfect. Okay. Now here, let's do the stuff. First, inside the container, we have to uh, wrap with the widget. Uh, we have to change this one as a. Um, uh, this one you have to change it as softfold. We have to, you have to put first of all the softfold. Support. Supporting this is the area which we will be designed the design. Okay. So second one, so this is a body. 
your type safe area. Safe area. This is safe area widget. We have to call the safe area widget. After that, we have to do the another stuff. Uh, we have to do another container widget. So we have to write style container. Here we have right uh, child text. You have to type hello. Simply you have to type the text. Hello, you just type like this. So you have to how to add this one. This one you have to double click on this one. This one you have to select Control C to copy main dot dot. You have to paste this. You have to this name. You see you have to call into the main dot dot. This is the page which we load at the first time. Okay, this is not error. Click on this one. Add the library package numbers here. Right? So, this is not error. Okay, now the error go away. Shift R for hot reloaded. Okay, now I have completed two or three Flutter tutorials. Now you have an idea about how to create the Flutter project. Okay, this is a basic stuff. I hope you have an idea. Right? Let me see what is the output will be displayed. So, the hello, hello is the output, it will be displayed successfully here. Hello. Right? So here first we have to get rid of this debug, this banner. Okay, that is not efficient way to display there. So we'll simply we have to display, get rid of this one. Debug uh, show banner. You have to type as false. Make it as false. Again, shift R to hot reloader and get back this one. What would be? Banner go away. Right. Now let's back to our add numbers dot that. Right. So here we have to add it successfully. Now let's do the remaining, remaining stuff. Okay. Uh, first we have the text we have to write like this. This is a text. Okay. So I'll be explaining it. The same text. Uh, we have to write like this. Style. So you have to write text at two numbers is adding. I have uh, typed uh, earlier hello. So that same thing here. I have changed as add two numbers. Style I am going to give another. This is the style which I am going to apply for the text which I type here. Font size should be 30, color black. Okay, right, perfect. Right. Now, if you want to see the output, shift R, hot reloader, and get back to and you know, what is the output will be displayed. You just see here. Here, this is the output. Okay, perfect. After that, what I'm going to do here is we have to make it as a uh, text field. So we have to make a text field. So how to make the text field? You have to wrap with the column. Okay, we can't do it. Wrap with the column. Click, click on this one. Select wrap with columns. So now, now only you have to put it to the columns. So how to put the columns? Your text fields. How to create the text fields? This is the code which are write, writing. Text field. We have to write a text field widget. Okay, you have to select. I'll be explaining it. I just copy and paste it comma you have to put the comma right okay so here this later on i will be explaining okay so here i just comment it text field open and close bracket over here sorry open and close bracket here it's open and close bracket decorate input label text number one this is a text we have to using the number one okay label style text style the font size when you type the font size is 15 color gray shadows Border is outline border, you will be display over here. Likewise, it will the text box will be displayed. Perfect. Okay, All right. This is how we have displayed the text field. Again, I am going to display the text field. So, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste here. This one should be the number two. The number two. This is the number two. All right. Perfect. Okay. So, after that, what I am going to do here is we need a space between this. So, this is a size box. In between the text box, we need a separate space. Otherwise, it will be if without space, we can't identify the number one text field and number two text field. So we need a space height. There will be a space between those. So uh, we have to give give the height. So I have I have put it here as 50. Okay. So after that, what I am going to do is so just Ctrl C, copy, Ctrl V, paste over here. Okay, you have to press tip, tap, tap key on your keyboard and arrange them, right? So after that, what I'm going to do is after 
at these two text fields after the, after I'm going, I'm going to calling the one button. So how to write the button? The simple codes. So now uh, before we are writing the button, we have to type another text field. So because the results will be display another text field. So just click on paste it over here. Here we have to paste it here. Control dot. It's a dot. That's it. After that, you just control C, copy, control with paste over here. This one should be. You have to make it as. Button. So, how to write the button over here? Simply, you have to write container. You have to type the container. Okay, you have to write type container. The container, you have to call the codes. Simply, you have to write. This one this is a decorate uh, box red uh, decoration color red. This is a color would be displayed on the text field. Uh, sorry, button. So border radius circular five. This is a text should be displayed. Uh, color should be textile white. This is a weight. Okay. So shift R or preloader and get back to the output. Now you can see here output. Okay, number one here for total here. This one should be you have to uh, the button you, you can't see here. So how to arrange them? We simply you have to get them here as uh, simply you have to get the you have to assigning the this one. Mm. You have to write the size, okay? So, you have to write clear the variable here, size. So, type over here. You get here, we have type this one. You get this one. Variable size, you have to make the size, okay? After that, what I'm going to do, same size, we have to call it over here. Okay, this is the alignment widget. I have to call it the size. So here, what I did here is, you have to type alignment, space, alignment, alignment dot center, the text should be displayed at the center. You have to write, we have defined already height and width above. Height, we have to 40 here, divide by 14. See here, width. Okay, so let's, Shift R and you can reload and see what is out should be. Now it should be perfect. Now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another stuff. Uh, we have to set the padding and all. Uh, padding. This is a padding we have given. This is a padding. the padding. Inside the container we have to give the padding. Shift R and R loader and back. Now let me see the output. Now the output would be perfect. If you need a space between the text, now we have an idea. Size box, control C to copy. Uh, you have to put it there, here, in between here. Or reloader, shift R. If you have done every changes, you have to restart and check the output whether it is perfect or not. Now it's perfect. Now we have to add two numbers. So now we we'll, let me do the calculation part. Very simple. Okay, very simple. We have to do the calculation part. Very simple. You have to do it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is first uh, I'm going to go to uh, the controller. So first, I'm going to create the
first i'm going to create the final text editor controller this is a controller we have created a controller text controller you have to create text editor controller we have to object have created as controller okay so after that what i'm going to do is here the same thing so that as this controller over here so you are just this controller object you have to add this dot here okay you just copy this one same thing I'm going to add it over here comma type comma type this one no there I go away this controller we are call it here add two numbers right so after that what I'm going to do it is after that what I'm going to do it is uh, we have the variable this is a variable we have to write the variable variable we have to write over here it's a variable you have to write the variable okay so we have to write the variable over here you have to create the variables right so first what I'm going to final total final num1 so num1 num2 text editor controller dot result sum these are the variables I'm going to create okay I created after that what I'm going to this controller we have to assign it here okay num1 num2 num3 okay the dot okay so what are the controller you have created over here num1 so this is num1 controller get it get there so num1 controller number 2 controller this is number 2 controller so this is number 2 so number 3 is a dot that's it you have to get there okay so after the total we have to get back to the total so how to get the total very simply uh, very simple so you have to write the this one when you click the button what happen you have to write this one get deducted this one this code so this code we have written where are the codes we have written here is we have written here yeah this one we are the here this is a container click on this one click here wrap with the widget widget we have to write here this one uh you have to write like this that just uh, i paste it here if you are right like this we are the director here we have to on tap sum you have to write sum it dot pass num1 dot text means this is num1 dot text plus number two dot text what the number you are putting here this is the sum variable result we have to already get the result equal sum you have to write you have to uh, call into which text work dot, uh, dot dot text result is dot two string mean it will display on the result shift up and hot reload and see what would be the output Okay, okay. So thing is this this is number two. Number one, number two. Totally got it. Shift R. Sixteen, sixteen. Here, yeah, total will be space successful. Okay, it worked perfectly well. I hope you guys you understood how to add two numbers in Flutter. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. This is all the scores I, I will provide in my tutors funny website. Thank you for watching.